the USA after getting kicked out of the World Cup. Brick soccer, I'll see you in about 12 years. Wait, 12 years? We're not gonna show up to the next World Cup that we host? Well, we're sharing hosting responsibilities with Canada and Mexico as well. But that would be pretty embarrassing if we don't even make it to this one. I'm kind of surprised we even made it into the bracket in the first place. 95% of US soccer fans now that the US has been eliminated from the World Cup, which also goes like 95% of the US viewership as well. I couldn't help but feel they just kind of let us win so we kept on watching for a little bit longer. Americans, when the US men's national team lost to the Netherlands in the World Cup, there are only two things I can't stand in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures, and the Dutch. I already know this line. Awesome powers will always be infamous. This actually really does perfectly describe America here in 2022. Well, probably not specifically against the Dutch, but. What are desirable facial traits? We have the superior arrow Chad versus the genetic failure. And why was that thing aerodynamic? I don't understand why you would even make them like this. Oh, it's actually because these trucks, which are used mostly in Europe, need to be smaller because the streets overall are smaller. But they do have a new aerodynamic design coming out. While these US trucks gotta drive like halfway across the country, actually sometimes across the entire country. Every legend has a weakness, Samson when you cut his hair, Achilles when you shoot him in the ankle, and Vladimir Putin when he sees stairs and a restroom. Oh yeah, who could have possibly guessed this of all things was actually his kryptonite. I guess he might have fallen downstairs and uh, uh, soiled himself. Soiled it, soiled it. Is it possible he's sick or something? I'm from England. Oh, so you're English? I'm from Poland. That means you're Polish. I'm from Greenland. Then you're greenish. Finally, the long lost answer to this question. What do you call people from Greenland? I refuse to believe it's Greenlanders. That's just too much. Too many syllables. Why not just embrace the color entirely? I'm just remembering there's a severe lack of it inside their flag too. Although it makes sense since Greenland isn't actually that green? That's gotta be why they do it. The Chinese leader is seeing mass protests break out in China. Oh, bother. Oh yeah, I guess he doesn't like to be called Winnie the Pooh. Was that ever confirmed or was that just through the memes? I think he might have just banned the film or something. Drew, are you Hungarian? Drew Drunel, yes, I am. I'm 100% Hungarian. Are you serious? Why did my AI have to spoil it? I'm trying to keep this a secret. I thought you guys would be able to figure this out a whole lot sooner. Man, these character AIs are getting so good. Germany, Portugal, Argentina, and Italy all laughing at ha. <laughs> 7-1. Uh, Meanwhile, Brazil saying okay behind all their already won trophies. They've literally won it five times. That's crazy. Oh wait, to be fair, Germany and Italy are literally right behind Brazil. It's gonna be close. The entire population of Brazil watching their TV on July 8th, 2014. Oh yes, another reference to 7-1. I love how I can literally just Google 7-1 and one and it immediately shows me what it's talking about. How has that happened? The most famous combination of 7 and 1 ever. And this is a perfect representation of the event. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf. Now get ready for Caesar in a freezer. This definitely on the surface looked like one of those that I wasn't gonna be able to get. There's a lot of these elf on the shelf memes that I just can't figure out the rhyme. If only you use this strategy, pretty hard to get stabbed in there. Shows the problem. Games like GTA 5, Cyberpunk, Fallout, all that California sucks. Meanwhile, gives the solution. Wingman, destroy California. Wait, in this game, you really get to destroy all of California? Talk about greatest game ever. Do you get to see me, like, as an NPC, get obliterated as well? Wait, I don't understand. Are you allowed to, like, drop nukes or or something from this plane? Yes, California does indeed get nuked <laughs> 11 out of 10. That's literally the only review you need and you get pretty much amazing scores on Steam. Why did no one think of this sooner? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet versus God of War Ragnarok. 5.1 million copies in a week, 10 million copies in three days. And after seeing all the bugs and weird things that happened in that game, this is probably the best representation of it. Slap Pokemon in front of anything and that thing is gonna do numbers. Yeah, people are still having fun in it. POV bus ride from Europe to Asia. Leaving home, parentheses, Germany. I'm getting on the bus to the other side of the world. See ya. Austria. Trip to Hungary. Welcome to Ukraine. In Russia. Russia is big and you can't find me here. Then we have Kazakhstan. Mother Mongolia. In China. Off the bus. And Bing Chilling. Okay, you cannot tell me all these artists didn't coordinate this together. I'm pretty sure this was all a part of their plan the whole time. These Spotify playlists are getting so good nowadays. I like how a vast majority of American population probably only knows two words in Mandarin. It's Ni Hao and Bing Chilling. The most American thing ever. Hello and ice cream. Bing Chilling. <laughs>
I don't even pronounce it right. Me at 3 a.m. watching two Indian guys build pools in the forest. So it's not just me. Everyone's doing this. Why are these like the greatest videos ever to watch at 3 a.m.? I'm convinced YouTube knows exactly what time it is when you're on their mobile device or desktop and they start recommending this stuff way more. Ever notice that Italy is shaped like a boot? Oh no guys, the normies are starting to figure it. Wait, <laughs> fuck. Alright, who's gotta punch me now? I've lost the game. Brazil holding their best friend, a broken and beaten Japan, as they stare back at their enemy who did this horrible atrocity. Oh, of course, it's Croatia. We'll see if they can get their revenge in this World Cup game. When is this game? Croatia beat Japan, so now Brazil and Croatia must face each other. I'm not sure if there's another reason why these two countries like each other in the sport, but generally these two places, like, are kind of in love. Like, maybe there's a specific World Cup reason, but I know a lot of other things that actually link these two countries. They're like each other's waifus. Brazil is actually the home of the world's largest Japanese population outside of the country. There's also jujitsu, which originated from Japan, as well as Brazilian jujitsu. Remember Poe from the Teletubbies? He got an entire country named after him. That's how famous this character became. Didn't know they were such a big fan of this show in this country. Also, Teletubbies have probably been around for at least a thousand years. Canadian breaks an ankle. Canada, have you considered oofing yourself? Uh, Okay, I guess the uh, Canadian healthcare system is uh, having some issues or something, I, I don't know. Me uses VPN. My FBI agent when I migrate from the US to Norway in 0.3 seconds. The FBI has been trying to investigate this phenomenon for like 10 years. Seems to be a large portion of people that can just like transport across the globe instantly. Will they ever figure this out? English teachers when they find out they aren't supposed to get pregnant and sick and not come to school for the rest of the year. I thought this was a part of the job application. Like, yeah, you have to teach for a full year, but it's actually just like half the year. We'll get a bunch of subs to take care of your kids and they'll barely pass the class. It's all good, doesn't matter. Early humans, when an animal they chase for miles finally passes out from exhaustion. Oh, yeah, it's time for a little victory dance. Now this is where the fun begins. There's like a really weird part of me that just wants to see if I could do this. Like, I don't want to actually, like, you know, hurt the animal. But like, could I outrun a gazelle for three days? Unlikely, but that'd be a fun little YouTube video. I wish we could create like a thumbnail for that joke. It's like a Mr. Beast challenge. You're an American, right? Yep. What are the four coins that make up a dollar called? Quarters. What are the four periods in basketball called? Quarters. So how do you pronounce three-fourths? Three- Oh, I kind of ruined the, the punchline there, whoops. Okay, I see what you're- I don't know why we do this. Three-fourths. I just feel like you would write out three-quarters if you wanted me to say three-quarters. Although, this is shorter. Okay, I don't know why we are the way that we are. If this is North America, and this is South America, then clearly this part has got to be America. Like, it's pretty obvious. And they kind of have a point. Why do we even add Central America to it? A lot easier just to say one word than two. The U.S. should change their name to United States of North America. Because we're clearly not living in Cuba, Venezuela, Colombia, Haiti. They're the real Americans out here. Non-English speaking people on their way to say the most grammatically correct, most advanced, unsurpassable English sentence you've ever heard of, then end it with, sorry for my bad English. I'm convinced if you're learning another language, always just say you're terrible at that language. Set the bar extremely low for yourself. English is my first language. I still say I'm terrible at English. I just don't know how to speak good. Kindergarten teachers, when their class list is Sora, Riku, Daenerys, Geralt, Zelda, Kevin. I couldn't even pronounce all those names, but I, I got some of these references, I think. You just wait, kindergarten teacher, to get to my kid. For my entire life, I've, I'm convinced I want to name my son Achilles. I don't know why. He's just gonna always have to watch out for his ankles. Germaphobe MFers when I tell him that the mitochondria is technically a foreign body, and that is how their life force immediately leaves and never returns. Germs out here sometimes being good, could have guessed. Monarchies bring stability fans when their emperor dies without an heir. They and their entire generation will waste their entire youth in a bloody, protracted civil war between 13 different power-hungry warlords. Don't forget all the incest that has to happen too. Wait, that does, doesn't necessarily need to happen. I mean, it can if you want. <laughs> Just ask Austria. I don't think this can get much worse, says a football fan staring at the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. FIFA president sees no reason why North Korea should not host a World Cup. Not Nonsense! While well, this guy just pumps it up and makes it even bigger. Wait, but like, who doesn't want to see this? I'm sure there's like thousands of things I'm not thinking about, but man, that would be crazy. Did you know in 1995, North Korea actually hosted the largest wrestling event in history? It's reported that almost 200,000 people attended, although I will say a lot of them might have just been forced. And WWE still has not even been able to come close to those numbers. Not saying because of this they should host the World Cup, I just wanted to add that little detail. I've always thought that was really interesting. A Korean-based Russian hacker named Kim Putin leaked pictures of North Korea's candidates for 2023. And it looks like there's a wide array of options this time around. I... <laughs>
But I really try to do this one with straight face. I feel like I'd either vote for Goth Kim or Flavor Town. Un, he looks pretty cool too. Pretty glad they're finally holding elections in this country though. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I'm stalking you and will kidnap you December 27th, 2022. DJ McSkillet. Oh, fat. Nor Drew's Argentinian $20 grandpa. is a lot to bring back Evan Poland Price. Good old Riot. Isaac Kilgore is dead. Noah Gamer. Biotic. Biotic. Orton 69, 6, Patrick. Fresh. Ash, Robert Anime. E. Rye. The Scottish Tokyo Polish. The Mexican Twicken Hamster. And why am I doing this?